We begin with breaking news. State geologists are diving deeper into what's causing the latest string of earthquakes in South Carolina. And since late December, we've been telling you about the dozens of small earthquakes recorded in Kershaw County. Our Jason Raven tells us more about this new theory. Officials with the State Department of Natural Resources and scientists say they wanted to come together and to make sure people across South Carolina and especially here in Kershaw County got accurate information about what was going on. Monday, leading geologists from South Carolina released this report on the Elgin area earthquakes. Now, geologists from DNR's Geological Survey, the University of South Carolina, and College of Charleston say its purpose is to explain the concept of earthquake swarms and why the earthquakes have been happening so frequently along the I-20 corridor between Elgin and Lugoff. It's not unusual. We had we've had swarms in the state before. Um, you know, there's been swarms around like uh, Monticello. There's been up at Jocassi. What makes this recent swarm in Kershaw County different is how long it's lasted. The first earthquake was recorded in late December 2021. Now, scientists say since then there have been more than 60 earthquakes recorded in this area. They also say they're clustered along an ancient fault system. As we look deeper into it uh, and we've looked at it, what data we have on it, uh, it does seem to be occurring between two major strands of the Eastern Piedmont Fault System. The scientists say they're investigating the nearby Watery River's impact on the frequency of these quakes. They say the location of the river, it's changing water levels in seasonal rainfall could be a contributing factor. Because of the proximity of the river, we just suggested that this is something that could be a factor. Now, is it causing the earthquakes? Not causing. It may be facilitating the earthquakes. It may just be making it so that the earthquakes could fire off at a, at a lower uh, string. Now, the county and the town of Elgin will be hosting a virtual town hall next week to talk about these earthquakes. In Kershaw County, Jason Raven, 7 News. And officials say the strongest earthquake reported in the swarm was about 3.6 magnitude, and it was a quake in late June. And you may remember we brought you this story about this theory back in March when 7 News Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson uh, carried a story, and you'll find that story on our website, WSPA.com.